If you're having trouble connecting your OSI smart alarm system to your Wi-Fi, we recommend switching from using the AirLink configure Wi-Fi setting to the soft app configure setting instead. Typically, we recommend trying to connect to your Wi-Fi using the AirLink configure Wi-Fi setting, but in some situations, the Wi-Fi router is not compatible to the AirLink connection. Therefore, we recommend using SoftApp, which allows the OSI alarm to create an internal wireless hotspot. This option will typically fix the problem. In this video, I'll help guide you step-by-step -step to show you how to connect your Wi-Fi using the SoftApp configure setting in just a few minutes. Before we start, ensure that you have your smartphone and OSI alarm system in front of you. At this point, you should have already installed Smart Life on your phone and made an account. Okay, let's begin. First, open the Smart Life app on your phone. Next, select the blue plus icon on the top left corner. Next, on the left side panel, select Sensors. Then select Alarm Wi-Fi. Here is where your strongest Wi-Fi signal should auto-populate and show up on your screen. If nothing is showing, just select the Wi-Fi icon here and select the strongest Wi-Fi network. This includes your booster Wi-Fi if you're using one. Then come back to this page, enter the password and select Next. This is the Wi-Fi I want to use, so let's press Next. On this page, click on where it says Easy Mode at the top right corner. Then select AP Mode. AP Mode just stands for Access Point. Selecting this will allow Smart Life to connect to the internal OSI Alarm Wi-Fi Access Point. Now that it's in AP Mode, keep your smartphone in front of you while we now go into the OSI Alarm System display to enable the internal chip. This allows Smart Life app to connect to it. So on the OSI Alarm System display, select Menu, then select Wi-Fi, then select Soft App Configure located at the very right. Now, before we select the check mark to confirm, take note that the timer will start counting down from 300 seconds. This is the time you have to complete the rest of the steps on your Smart Life app. So let's select the check mark and go back to the smartphone. And you see it's counting down, so now let's go back to the app on our smartphone. Select indicator blinking at the bottom here, which in this case, we're confirming that the OSI alarm system is counting down and ready to connect. So let's press next. On this screen, it's just telling you that once you select Go Connect, you should see a mobile hotspot called Smart Life or the letters SL with a few other letters and numbers. So let's select Go Connect. So here you should see Smart Life show up on your Wi-Fi screen. Select it and go back to the Smart Life app immediately. Do not wait for it to connect on this screen or it will not work. So let's press the back button and now you'll see that the OSI alarm will now connect. Now it says device added successfully. And if you select the security system device, you can see that we now have control of the OSI alarm system. Well, we hope this video helped you out. And if it did, please give us a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, just drop us a comment below. And if you wanna see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. All the products that you see on our channel are available with free shipping at osigoldirect.com or amazon.com. Those links are provided in the description below. My name is Brandon Paris and thank you for watching.